no longer need to remember hotkeys. I have something better for you. I'm pretty sure that if your job requires you to use computer and you spend significant amount of time in front of one, you'll want to buy this device after watching this video. In this video I'll introduce you to an amazing device that has changed how I work, I'll explain how I use it and how it helps integrate various applications such like a, a keyboard maestro, shortcut, raycast, AI such as ChatGPT, Cloud and all other models into one powerful productivity machine. So let's dive in. We all have keyboards that allow us to run everything we need on our computers using hotkeys and different launchers such as Raycast, however, to perform certain actions we need to remember key combinations. When there are many such combinations, we have a few options to managing them. One option is using an application like a carabiner element which allows you to create layers, for example, you press super key and for example B uh, to activate certain application, maybe it might be browser, and next button will be performed in actions specific for that application. Alternatively, you can use a launcher like a Raycast where you write command, however, both options require you to remember key combinations or go through multiple steps to execute commands. This can be time consuming. Remembering multiple key combinations can be a hassle. The Stream Deck simplifies this by assigning actions to a single button. So, this video about Elgato Stream Deck Excel. Simply put, it's a box with a set of buttons, in my case 32 of them, each of which is also a screen. This means we can assign an actions on or a scenario to each button. The concept is straightforward, but it has made my life such easier. The main thing about Stream Deck is that it's Made of physical buttons. Each of these buttons is physical and tactile. Uh, you can press it just using peripheral vision, just because you can feel this button. Here's the main thing about this device. Let's see what other Stream Deck options there are, sorted by price. First we have Stream Deck Mini, which costs $60 and has 6 buttons, but to be honest, I don't see any reason why the 6 buttons might be needed. I probably wouldn't recommend you buying it. Next up is the Stream Deck Neo, which costs $99 and it has 8 buttons and small display. If you don't have many tasks, you can use this device. It looks pretty cool and for $99 it's great product, I think. The next option we have is the original Stream Deck, which is already in the second revision of Mark II. There are 15 buttons there and I think this is exactly what I would recommend to start with. If you are not yet sure that you need 32 buttons, this is probably the format that I would recommend you to buy. You can always buy more if you need more buttons because they can work together. You can put three or four Stream Decks together and they will work as a one device. You can assign different buttons buttons to them switch from one stream deck to another, some profiles or the ability to combine is simply limitless. Then we have Stream Deck Plus. It uh, features eight customizable buttons for rotary dials like a knobs and a touch strip. This model is preferred for users who want to additional control options beyond just buttons, especially for tasks like audio mixing and other detailed adjustments using knobs. The next option is what I have, the Stream Deck Excel, which has 32 buttons. This is great for power users who need more buttons button and functionality at their fingertips. Lastly, there's a Stream Deck Mobile. You can download the app on your pad and install it there. You will also be able to get access to buttons on your screen, but downside is that this app is paid and as far as I know, subscription based. So to be honest, I don't see much of a point in it. Quick, frequently performed actions you can use the Stream Deck. Let me explain you how you can use Stream Deck to improve and speed up your work. Suppose you need to assign specific action to a button such as opening application. The beauty of the Stream Deck is that it not only opens the application, but also activates it. For instance, if you want to switch between applications you have running during the day, you can just click a button and the application will open. In simple and effective way to switch between applications. Imagine needing to open email, check your calendar and start a Zoom call 
all just with uh, three button presses. When you open the Elgato Stream Deck application, you can build some logic into it. You can perform a series of actions with a single button press, which is pretty cool. You can also assign an icon or image to each button to easily identify its function. Elgato Stream Deck application is impressive on its own, but it truly shines when you combine it with a shortcut, a keyboard maestro and raycast and such as other applications. You can execute all the actions that applications offered with just one click. It's amazing how you can integrate various applications and even run scripts. Uh, this has revolutionized my workflow and organization. Let's see what we can do using Stream Deck applications. You can implement a lot of functions just through this application. Let's start with creating a new profile. In this new profile, the first thing I advise you to do is add the open button for this application, for Elgato Stream Deck application because you will return quite often to add something, change something and so on. In the initial setting process, I advise you to add this button. It will make your life easier. I also advise you, if you have several profiles, to add the button to the switch to your default profile. This will also help you. Let's see what we see in this application. The first thing you see is all the buttons on which you can assign any actions. On the right you'll see all the actions that we can drag into our button uh, that we want to set up. Let's say we want to start an application. So we we'll drag it uh, here and choose the applications what we want to run. It's pretty simple action, but it allows you to open the application that you often use and switch between them. Then there are also the close button. For example, you can close a certain application if you don't need it. But there's more interesting function. It's called multi-action switch. It's a thing that has two states. Roughly speaking, it's a switch. You can add scenario by pressing the button uh, in a first state, and then you can uh, add some actions in a second state when you press the uh, second time. Uh, to make it clear, you can open applications that we want to run and then also you can add scenario to the second state. For example, I'm doing this for open the messages applications. I don't need these applications to be constantly on the desktop. When I need it, I open it and then I press second time and just close it. It's super useful and it's super simple. Well, I also wanted to mention the ways to organize your buttons. It's clear that there's 32 buttons here, but this will be probably not enough if you want to assign some more of your frequently performed actions. The first thing you can do is add several pages and switch between those pages. The next thing you can do is add folders. You can add certain actions into the folder you need. For example, you can add the open your web page uh, to the folder. I'd like you to mention that there is a convenient auto out function in the folders, which allows you to go up to the level after activating button in this action. It's quite convenient so that you don't have to constantly manually press the button to go somewhere on main page. The next way of organizing is to create profiles. And profiles more interesting thing, because on the profiles you can add a logic to the activation of those profiles where you will open in certain applications. For example, my music profile yeah, is activating when opening in music. Or example, I have profiles for Slack, I have profiles for a remote connection when I uh, open my remote connection app, and so on. So you get it. Also worth mentioning that I advise you to explore the Elgato marketplace and look at the plugins that are available for Elgato. Gato Stream Deck. There are quite a lot of these plugins. You can manage almost everything you want. For example, you can activate certain audio device, control your smart lights, or connect your, your home assistant. A lot of different plugins there. I'd like to give you a small recommendation. Don't try to immediately fill all your buttons with all possible commands. Firstly, you will spend a lot of time and secondly, most likely you will not use all of them. I would recommend you use more natural way. When you encounter some repetitive action, spend some time at this command to your stream deck. In this case, your stream deck will be filled with a really useful and necessary commands. Let's go through my use cases that I found useful myself. The first thing that comes to my mind the launch frequently used applications. Also on my default profile we can find links 
links to the home, downloads and documents folders. There are also a separate button that closes all finder windows. I made this button through the Keyboard Maestro. Keyboard Maestro allows you to add just a giant super cool scenarios on your stream deck. Then I have time button and I have timer that I often use. Then I also have button to close all application when I just need to close all of them by the end of my work day or if I want to switch to uh, another activity. It's super handy, super useful. I also use uh, Keyboard Maestro for this function. What else I have uh, here on my main screen? It's uh, adjusting sound, lock the workstation, sleep and button assigned for application Super Whisper. It's an uh, application which is used Whisper for dictation. So you just press button, start talking and then by the end of the when you stop talking, you have like a transcription what you just speak. I would like to mention this cool trick of the combination of Raycast and Stream Deck. Raycast has one cool feature. It allows you to copy the deep link to any command available to you in Raycast. For example, when you open uh, any command, you can press command key and then you can choose copy deep link and then you can use this deep link to run this command through the stream deck and Raycast have a lot of plugins you can install and all of those plugins also available to you to run using deep links. I also have a couple of folders that I used for commands. The first of them is folder for window management. I took all these commands from Raycast. Raycast now allow you to manage windows. I don't see the need to install some third-party clients for window management anymore. We all know that Apple has added the window management feature to the latest Mac OS Sequoia, but it's so weak that it's almost unusable. It's better than nothing, but what I see here, this, all of those buttons, it's just an out ultimate solution for Windows management. I have an application switch. There's a also close button so I can quickly switch to a certain application and then I can uh, adjust it on screen or if I need it, I can close it. It's super cool, gr great. It's a pleasure to manage Windows using uh, Stream Deck and Raycast combination. The next folder is Screenshot Control, which collects various options for taking screenshots and screen recording that I use quite often. Also have several profiles that I use. There's a the music profile. Here's a just a music control and it also cool that on the play pause button it can show you album cover when its playback begins you can also add your favorite playlist here that you want to run directly from this. I like how it works, it's pretty easy to control the music. I would probably add more buttons to switching audio device. It's probably worth doing that so you can quickly switch between speakers or headphones. My next profile is Slack profile where I have all my colleagues, all my channels uh, between which I need to quickly switch. Also, the most important button is hamburger which I assigned the lunch break button. This button starts also timer for one hour so I can take a lunch break. I also have a profile for connecting to all my computers that I need to connect at work. I use RDP, Jump, SSH and so on. Everything is assembled in one separate profile. I can connect to any computers by pressing one button. Another interesting use case uh, is combining Stream Deck with uh, Raycast. Recently Raycast has introduced AI capabilities uh, including AI commands. But what exactly is AI command? There are a set of presets you can run through the Raycast to automate tasks. For example, you can create an AI command to prepare an email response. Simply fill in email, instruct the AI that is an email and specify that you want to context-based response. Select the previous message, press the button and the AI generate response is inserted into your email. This allows you to see the answer generated by AI instantly. This functionality enables you to assign different commands to different buttons on your Stream Deck. For instance, I use one command to prepare email response and another to translation, as English is not my uh, native language. Additionally, I have quick AI chat command that provides information on selected text or text copied into the clipboard. This early, I really like to use the combination of Stream Deck and Keyboard Maestro because Keyboard Maestro is a super powerful tool tool for automating your routine. And in order to make it easier for you to attach the Keyboard Maestro markers to the Stream Deck buttons, I advise you to install the unofficial plugin from the store called Klink. Is that it allow you to attach the, and find your macros much faster. Attach them to the buttons. When you drag Klink uh, to the button, you see the last macros you edited. 
you know, it works much more uh, conveniently than the startup plugin from Keyboard Maestro. I think that's all I wanted to say today. Stream Deck is a pretty cool device and it really opens up when you start using it together with a program like Raycast, Keyboard Maestro or Siri Shortcut or what else. You can build pretty cool scenarios and they will run by pressing one button. It's so cool that I strongly recommend it to you if you use your computer often, if you need to remember some key combinations I recommended to buy this device and you will thank me later for this recommendation. If you already use the stream deck, just click the like and subscribe to the channel and thank you all for being with me. See you in the next video. Bye.